Welcome back guys, today we've got our hands on Diablo 4, running on none other than the Ally. Just imagine, Diablo 4, a game fresh out of the oven, and the Ally, a robust portable machine. We're using an external capture card to keep things fair, ensuring our recording isn't stealing any performance from the game. So, in this video, we'll explore gameplay at different settings, overall performance, frame rates, and show you we've optimized the settings to get a stable 40 FPS. Let's jump right into our gaming test and see how the ally smashes Diablo 4. Alright, here we are running the Ultra preset with FSR set to quality. We are using a 720p resolution and running the ally in turbo mode. I'm expecting to see around 45 FPS using these settings given how well Diablo 4 performs on the Steam Deck. Right off the bat, we can see that we're getting between 45 and 65 FPS, and we're averaging around 60 FPS. The game looks wonderful with these settings, and it runs so smooth with these settings. I think it's fair to say that you can play Diablo 4 on Ultra settings on the Ally if you wish. The only downside is going to be battery life. With the current power draw, you'll get around 1 hour of gaming. So let's move on and try the performance mode, since it should give us a bit better battery life. So now here we are running the Ultra preset with FSR set to quality again at 720p, but this time I'm going to change and use the performance mode instead of the turbo mode. At half the power as before, I think we'll average around 35 FPS or so, but let's move around a bit and check the actual performance. Well, it's not bad at all. We're getting between 40 and 50 FPS. I was expecting a bigger drop since the APU is getting around half the power. We aren't experiencing any stuttering and the game looks great on the ally screen. I can see myself playing on the go with these settings as we should get around an hour and a half of gameplay with these settings. Now let's move on and see what FPS we get on high settings. Okay, here we have the high preset, FSR is still set to quality mode, and we continue to use a 720p resolution. Let me change the operating mode to performance real quick. And by lowering the settings, I would be happy with getting around 5 FPS more on average. We should be getting pretty close to that better smooth experience of 60 FPS. And nice, we are now in the 50-60 FPS range. We just got a 10 FPS boost by lowering the settings from ultra to high. I really can't tell the difference between ultra and high settings. The game still looks great on high settings, but uh, something isn't right. We can see that the APU is now using 20 watts instead of the 15 watts it should be using. Let's switch to turbo mode and see what's going on. Here we have the exact same settings as before, and I have already enabled turbo mode just to make sure nothing strange is going on. So now we should be getting roughly the same FPS as in the previous test, since we are only increasing the TDP by 5 watts. With these settings, I'm getting between 50 and 75 FPS, and it seems to be averaging around 55 FPS. The gap between the minimum and maximum FPS is huge now for some reason. With these settings, the game looks and plays really well, as expected. I mean. You can expect to get an hour of battery life with these settings, which, let's be honest here, it just doesn't cut it. So let's move on to medium settings and see what performance we get. Now I'm jumping straight into using turbo mode and medium settings. I want to see just how many FPS we can squeeze out of the ally with these settings. I believe these are the settings most people will be using when they can get their ally plugged into power. We should get a smooth 60 FPS experience in most scenario with these settings. So let's move around a bit and check. We're getting a between 60 and 86 FPS. I really wasn't expecting this level of performance. It's quite impressive. It even makes sense to turn on the 120Hz refresh rate. Yeah, I think I'll be using the medium preset and turbo mode when I play with the ally plugged in. Okay, now let's see if we can get the 15 watt mode to work and have a look at the performance. Here we are with medium settings, FSR set to quality mode, and performance mode at 720p. It looks like the APU is now working at 15 watts, and I'm expecting to get around 60 FPS with these settings. Maybe not consistently, but it should be close. It's actually a bit worse than expected. We're getting low 50s in demanding areas like the town, and a bit below 60 in open areas. 
It's a shame I was hoping to hit a solid 60 FPS with these settings. However, the game still looks great and the gameplay feels smooth enough. Well, I'm not sure where this preset fits in. You won't be getting as much battery life as on the Steam Deck and you won't consistently reach 60 FPS. So let's move on and see if we can achieve that butter smooth 60 FPS on low settings. All right, we're now on the low preset with FSR set to quality. Let me quickly switch to performance mode while still rendering at 720p. It seems like the ally is once again staying at 20 watts instead of the intended 15 watts. This inconsistency is quite frustrating. And we're achieving nearly 100 FPS, but at the cost of running at 20 watts instead of the desired 15 watts. I'm not a fan of how the game looks on low settings, so I'm just gonna be skipping these settings during my gameplay sessions. However, if you want to max out the ally's refresh rate, the low preset might be suitable for you. Now, let's move on and see if we can reach 120 FPS on turbo mode. Here we have the low preset with FSR set to quality. Let me enable turbo mode real quick. And I'm feeling optimistic about achieving between 110 and 120 FPS at least in open areas outside of the town. So let's head right outside of this town and see what we can get. And it looks like it came close, but it only manages to reach 105 FPS. The FPS range I've observed during my test is 75 to 105. Once again, there's a significant gap between demanding areas and low density areas with a difference of 40 FPS. And okay, now let's move on to the 40 Hertz optimized settings. So these are my optimized settings. I won't be explaining them, so feel free to pause the video if you need to apply them. I've switched the FSR to balance and used the in-game FPS cap to limit the FPS to 40. I'll be using a mix of high and medium settings, leaning more towards high. I'm going to be using the performance mode so that we can get a better battery life and rendering at 720p. I expect to achieve a stable 40 FPS almost everywhere. I'm starting in this town which is larger than the previous towns we've tested and currently the ally is consuming more power than it should. Okay, we're consistently getting a locked 40 FPS in the town and as we move outside the 40 FPS experience remains stable. So yeah, mission accomplished. We got 40 FPS here, and it is time to move on. I'm going to test the game at 1080p to showcase the performance this device can deliver. Alright, for this test I'll be using the high preset and FSR set to quality. I'll be rendering at 1080p with turbo mode enabled. And I think we should achieve around 40 FPS in most areas, with some possible dips in the most demanding parts of the game. In this town, we're getting approximately 35 FPS, which is slightly lower than expected. I believe that if I were to connect the ally to a power source and allow it to operate at 30 watts, we would likely hit the desired 40 FPS. Outside of the town, we are reaching 40 plus FPS, which is in line with my expectations. If you plan on connecting your ally to an external monitor or display, using these settings at MDP might make sense. So, there you have it folks. That's how Diablo 4 performs on the ally. Now let's have a chat. What do you think about the performance? Would you be willing to sacrifice some visuals for a smoother gaming experience? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below. And hey, if this video was helpful or entertaining for you, show us some love with a thumbs up. And as always, it's been a blast having you guys with us, and see you guys next time.